Oh, wow. Here we are already. Wednesday. Wow, wow, wow. Where's the time going? I have no idea. Hey, are there any things that you are there any things in your life you've been putting off? I would say most of us have at least one or two, you know, little things. Sometimes we even forgot what it is <laughs> because we put the darn thing off so many times. How do you feel about things that have been put off almost too many times? Does it make you wonder why do we put things off so many times. The only thing I could come up with, and I'm no expert by any stretch of the imagination, is that whatever it is that we're putting off is probably something we don't like. And we're trying to avoid the thing, whatever the thing may be. Maybe there is an unwarranted fear that is associated with the thing that we keep subconsciously putting off, putting off, putting off. For example, um, like cleaning out the closet. Why do many of us open up the closet, look at it and go, boy, oh boy, I really, really think this is the most disorganized closet. And you just shake your head and you shut the door and just wish it away. Don't you wish you had like an imaginary robot in that closet, taking things out, looking at everything and reorganizing it, uh, throwing away, discarding the stuff that you don't want? I know, I know, I know. Or... Yes, let's say a doctor's appointment, perhaps maybe that you've been putting off like, oh, I'm so afraid. I don't want to know, but I get it. I totally get it. I do get it because nobody wants to hear bad news about themselves. In your mind's eye, you might be thinking, assuming, oh, it's going to be bad news when in all probability, probably it is not going to be bad news. All right. Uh, perhaps if it is like some sort of negative news that you get from the doctor's report, always know that, well, you're on top of it. And you're going to do your best to correct it. So look at it like that too. But there are many, many things we put off. We put off sometimes meeting with people that we really should be meeting with, or we put off um, reconciling with someone that uh, you've been so angry with for so long and it really doesn't get you anywhere. Well, maybe in your mind's eye, it still bothers you and it festers and festers. Whatever the thing is, whatever the thing is, today might be the day, yeah, this middle of the weekday, Wednesday, yeah. Well, we're going to hear all sorts of uh, stories about whatever took place the night before in the news, on the news. We're going to hear that till ad nauseum either way, no matter what it is. And after a while, it gets old. And then meantime, we're still putting off the things in our own lives that we've been putting off, putting off, putting off. Is there something? Only you could answer it. You don't have to tell me. But is there something in your life that you've been putting off like forever? Like maybe making that phone call? or maybe pursuing that letter, or maybe calling up a utilities company, for example, to get a discount. Might be entitled to a promotion. Turn the thing around, for example, that we've been dreading, and turn it into a positive. Doesn't mean you have to be a Wednesday warrior either. <laughs> Just, you know, take, find that one thing, muster up the courage, look yourself in the face in the mirror and say, you know, this is the day I'm going to tackle that thing that I've been postponing. Even if it's just making that phone call to the utilities company, what's the worst thing that can happen? You're trying to lower your bill. If you don't get it, you don't get it. But imagine if you do get it. See, so there's really, there's no love loss there. So if there's something that you've been putting off and it's been festering and bothering you, this might be the perfect day to take advantage of that and to tackle it for once and for all.